<laughs> hey y'all, what's up? Um, it's Friday. No, um, <laughs> finish voting on um, my poll uh, in my community post where I ask you what is the best day of the week. Like I said, I will not reveal what I think is the best day of the week. It's a universal answer until enough people have voted. And there are 80 votes right now. Finish voting so that I can do this. So I could tell you. Like, um, all right. Now, um, lots of videos to come, first of all. I have enough ideas to, like, literally, like, keep making videos for the next, like, eight years, but I'm not going to do that. Hopefully, you know, Christ has, like, you know, some, some other plans. Like, this is good, but, like, like yeah like it's charlie day um I, I think it's charlie day definitely charlie from it's always sunny in philadelphia said like even things you love like still work <laughs> but um i will feel like eight more years of this is like uh okay no i'm not doing that i'm gonna try to like share like a lot of these things that i know like sooner than later um so this is a sweet college prank that you could like um, have. And uh, so like, uh, I had this friend in college named Sarah. And Sarah is like one of the smartest people I've ever met. Like one of the smartest ever. Like I've introduced him once or twice as the smartest person I've ever met. I said smartest other person I've ever met. <laughs> Um, but anyway, <laughs> like Sarah is so cool. Like, like when um, we're like bored in college, like we go around doing like some ridiculous things. One of the things is he like taught me how to open an elevator and jump on top of it. So like we went to the elevator uh, in our dorm, right? Like what you do is like as the elevator is hopefully it's a slow elevator is going between floors. I mean not that slow, like most elevators this will this will work so what you do is like when it's in between floors so halfway you like put your fingers at the end of the elevator and like pull hard and it will open i think it's like maybe like an emergency like um thing that they <laughs> maybe i shouldn't tell you this <laughs> an emergency safety thing that they like did put that that allows it to do that they have cameras in elevators now so they could see your butt like, so don't do that. So we did it in our dorm. Like, anyway, we pulled the elevator, like, um, as it was halfway between floors. And then we got out of the elevator onto the floor and jumped on top of the elevator. And we rode the elevator all the way on top of the elevator, um, like, sit, standing on, on top of the elevator all the way up to the roof. And, like, luckily, I guess they're smart. Like, the roof, like, had about, like, seven feet or so gap between it and the elevator so we're like crushed or anything and I guess Sayer knew that before we jumped on it um like that they do that but that's like a fun little thing but that's only like the like appetizer so the real story is so like Sayer like is from Indiana and I like uh I think on a Thanksgiving trip told my mom I'm not coming home um, as my school is relatively distant anyway, so we, Sarah and I, went to his home, right? We, like, for Thanksgiving. And, uh, so, I believe, like, we came back on a Saturday. And, like, most students to the college after Thanksgiving returned on the Sunday. And so, like, there weren't a lot of kids in the dorm, we were a little bored, and we went over to <laughs> my friend Patrick's, like, uh, dorm room. And Sarah just started playing with the door. And he he was just bored. And when he started playing with the door, he like took like one of the hinges off. And I'm like, well, like take off the whole door. And like I had this idea that like, well, so in our uh, dorm, like uh, we occupy two floors of this building and there are roughly 40 to 50 kids in it. Co-ed dorm. And uh, like, of course, we had a common lounge shared space, and the common lounge is really big. So once we took the um, hinges off uh, Patrick's door, 
that I told Sayer, let's just move everything in his room and reconstruct it exactly as it is in the common area of our dorm. So, <laughs> my friend Patrick hadn't returned from Thanksgiving break. So, like, uh, upon his arrival, when he went, he walked in and his, <laughs> his, room <doesn't laughs> his room doesn't have a door and there's nothing in it. Like, I, I and Sayer rebuilt his entire dorm room exactly as it looks. Like, with the door and everything in the common area. And sweet for the college because it just so happens to be like uh, uh, overnight visits for parents who are interested in sending their kids to the college. So they got to see in one of the dorms like how goofy and silly and, and weird uh, we can be. And anyway, this is like a sweet little like um, goofy thing you could do to mess with your friends and have some serious fun. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, we like put everything back like as, as it was and like there was no harm done. In fact, like, you know, usually when you pull pranks, you get in trouble with like either your resident assistant, the RA or like, you know, the people who are like supervising you, the resident heads as they're called. But like we didn't get in trouble for this. They thought it was like a really, really sweet thing. Oh, and I almost forgot. So like, so like, like, what is it like? So years later, right? Like years later. Um, like this is about like uh, seven or eight years later I would work at this gig summer gig that's uh, about like introducing minority kids to advanced math and in that summer gig I meet someone I worked with some really talented people like three or four MIT alums but I met someone who went to my college not only did he go to my college um, and by the way really interesting side note about this guy so like we're trying to get so he was trying out teaching first like this summer right like with really smart uh like minority kids and like so at the end of it like we're like you should be a teacher and he's like i enjoyed it he was teaching the kids how to program so he programmed for microsoft and whatnot so we're like you should be a teacher and whatnot and so we're like and he wasn't convinced so we're like you know you get summers off and everything he's like like, when I went a, a long vacation, I just quit my job. <laughs> so, I guess this guy's like so talented that like, he could like, uh, such a talented programmer that he could like, quit, quit and start jobs and whatnot all the time. Um, but anyway, like, years later, as I said, I meet this guy at this summer gig, and believe it or not, not only did he go to my college, as I said, he went, to, he, he attended my dorm and they knew about us. They like, he showed me a picture. I didn't tell them it was me. Like he showed me a picture of like what these two guys did in our, so we we're like legends, dude. Like we left a legacy that like would last for like, we didn't know that's what we were doing. That would last for like, like uh, the next generation of kids to come to the college. So like, like, I guess, like, there's another really cool reason to do it. It's, like, not only is it fun, like, a nice little prank, like, harmless fun prank to do on your friend, but, like, that also has Sarah and I did some other, like, really, really fun prank. Again, the victim was our friend Patrick, but that's for the next one, next Friday, yeah? Okay, cool. I hope y'all have had a wonderful week, and may you have a wonderful weekend. All right, take care. Have a good one.